Greetings and welcome to our devotional today. We always appreciate this few moments where we could sit together, spend a few moments in the Word of God and pray together. And we trust that these precious moments each and every day will bring an encouragement into your life and strengthen you, but also enlighten us in our spiritual understanding and our understanding of who God is, His ways and how He works. This week, we're talking about the subject of money. And I want to just bring to our understanding this simple insight, an important insight, that money does not contradict faith. Traditionally, people think that if you want to be a person of great faith and trust in God, then you've got to shun money and money has no place in your life. But that is not corroborated by what we see in Scripture. In fact, it's the other way. And I just want to bring our attention to a few things this morning or today. In Genesis 13 verse 2, the Bible talks about a man named Abraham. And it says, Abraham was very rich in livestock and silver and in gold. And this is the very beginning part of Abraham's spiritual journey. when God has actually called him uh, out of his own uh, father's land or his ancestral land to follow the living God. And God picks a rich man to be the father of faith. So you see, God didn't find a problem with the fact that Abraham was very rich. Not only did God pick him, but if you look into the life of Abraham, we find at a later point in Genesis 24, and I'm referencing verse 1 and verse 35, one of Abraham's servants is speaking and he says, you know, the Lord has blessed Abraham in everything, in all things. So he picked a rich man and blessed him even more. And it says that, verse 35, The Lord has blessed my master greatly, and he has become great. So God picked a rich man, called him to be the father of faith. And God blessed him even more materially in his, as he provoked in his spiritual journey. So this is a very strong indication that Having wealth and riches is not going to contradict your faith. You can be a person who is a strong faith, devout faith, love the Lord deeply, and still be blessed materially, and know how to handle those things correctly. There's nothing wrong with that. You find many other examples. You can look at the life of Isaac, who was Abraham's son. The Bible says God blessed him greatly. So you can imagine a man who had a rich inheritance already given to him, and God blessed him even more. That's Isaac. Uh, you read about uh, several other people in Scripture whom God blessed and who are also people of great faith. So the blessing of the Lord, it makes one rich and he adds no sorrow with it. Proverbs 10 and verse 22 says, and Proverbs 22 verse 4 says, Through humility and fear of the Lord are riches, honor, and long life. You think about that. Humility and fear of the Lord, and yet riches, honor, and long life. They go together. They are part and parcel of the same life that God has blessed. So, in your thinking, look at yourself as a man or a woman who will be of great faith, but will also be somebody who will handle great things, great monies, great riches, for the sake of God's kingdom in whatever measure God blesses each of us. Let's pray. Father, we open our hearts to your truth and help us, Lord, to be people of great faith and people who will be great stewards of what you entrust us with. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.